Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV, Jess Hilarious, Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Now, if you're just joining us, we're talking about Chris Brown. Now, during Jess with the mess, he was, she was talking about Chris Brown and the fact that the NBA invited him to play at the celebrity game and mm-hmm. then uninvited him. So we're asking 800-585-1051. What are your thoughts? Jess. I think it's crazy. I think it's crazy. Don't and all right. If you if these these corporations, Charlemagne is right. They they have the right to say who they don't want to deal with. Well, they do want to deal with for their past or whatever. But don't invite me and then uninvite me. Don't do that. It had same thing happened with the tribute. Same thing happened with this game. And I just think it's bad. It's horrible. I, I yeah. just feel like with the NBA, the NBA has a lot of. Uh, I guess balls to do this because there's so many players in the NBA yeah. that have assault charges, sexual assault charges, yeah. and, and numerous other I don't know about things. that now. The NBA ain't not like the NFL. The NBA definitely has some people who got some DV charges, but not like the NFL. The NBA usually but they, they, you. But they do have some, but they have some major existing. players that have had sexual assault charges. Yeah. Like who? Oh, come on, come on, come on. This ain't the show for that. No, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> who? Who? I'm talking about right now. Oh, no, no, not right now. But, oh, but, but, oh, asking, oh no. I don't know about right now. Oh, but I'm okay, talking about okay, in the okay. past, they have had players who had mm. sexual assault charges and still play. Yeah, but those people also went through the legal system, though. Like, they went through the legal system. Like, they, they, they had their due process in court. And so they got dealt with in a court of law. But they still played in the league. And not what, a problem. What play, is play going all-star on? They, did play, they, did, they did play in the league, but we're not going to sit here and act like um, the NBA didn't back away from them. Let's be, you're, you're talking about Kobe Bryant. Let's be honest. Oh, there's a host of them. Well, because cause, cause the reality is the league should have been Kobe's. Like, Kobe should have been the face of the league. There was a there was a, a a plan to not make Kobe the face of the league, and that's when they started putting all the energy on LeBron James. And this is and Kobe was still at the top of his game, winning two championships and everything. But I don't know how we even got on this subject. What I got? I was just saying. Yeah, you're you. You got I on this subject. You jumped on there and <laughs> said like who? If you never said like who, then we wouldn't be here. I all I said that. is there was players in the league that have been accused of sexual assault in the league. We still see them in the league. So yeah, but, the fact that Chris Brown did something at the age of 19. This yeah. was a, he's a kid. At 19, mm-hmm. can we agree? He was a mm-hmm. teenager. Yes, very yeah, much. He made mistakes. He effed up. He apologized. He said he was sorry. Mm-hmm. But the fact that how old is Chris now? 30 something years old? 35, yeah, 36 35, years old? Yeah. And one of the best musicians out there, but will never get his flowers because of this, and it keeps coming up. He couldn't yeah. do the Michael Jackson tribute. He could. He couldn't play after they invited him. Now, if they didn't mm-hmm. invite him, then I would understand. But it seems like it's, it's over and over and over again. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. I mean, like I said earlier, these companies can reserve the right to not do business with you. Um, we know they're not consistent. We know that they're all contradictions. We know they're hypocrites. We know everyone doesn't get treated the same. And truthfully, I don't. I, there's nothing anybody can do about it. You don't think it's wrong? I don't know if it's necessarily wrong if I'm personally making a choice to not deal with someone. I, I can't. I can't say. I don't know if wrong is the right word. Because even when mm-hmm. you talk about players, these players impact their bottom line more than a Chris Brown does. These players are part of the league. They're mm-hmm. part of a team. So of course they're going to get more leniency and more grace than somebody who they just bringing in to, you know. It's a celebrity game though. Yeah, but I'm saying that's only one time. I'm not going to ruin my whole brand and my whole game, you know, for one person. But also too, like I said earlier, I wonder if the NBA, if that was personal to Chris Brown, mm-hmm. or are the people who just run in that kind of stuff slack? Because I told y'all, Gilly said the same thing. Gilly said they told him he was playing in the game. Well, I don't think we can bring up Gilly. Gilly is not <laughs> Chris saying. Brown. So this I'm is just not... saying, they, Gilly, Gilly, t- they, Gilly said they told him he was playing in the game. And then when the, it got announced who was in the game, he wasn't in it. So maybe these people just slack. Because that is slack to email somebody and tell them, hey, you you on. But then email them back and tell them, hey, no, you're not. Yeah, That's just unprofessional. Correct. Yeah. So maybe these people that are running this portion are just unprofessional. I don't know if it's something necessarily personal against Chris Brown. I do believe so. But let's go mm. to the phone line. We have Crystal on the line. Crystal, good morning. Hello. Hey, good Hi, morning, Crystal. Crystal. I was calling because I'm really tired of Chris Brown slander. To be honest, if Dr. Dre beat Michel A, he got to perform at Super Bowl. He got to do all this stuff, all these endorsement deals. Chris Brown beats up Rihanna. And it's like he's blackballed forever. I and it's, it's not fair. It's, it's Everybody different. knows that. Now, I agree with you. It's two different organizations, though. You know, the Super Bowl is, is ran by the NFL, and, of course, the NBA is totally two different organizations. But, I, yeah, I agree with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's ridiculous, though, because he keeps getting blocked by everything. And everybody everybody knows who they want to perform. Yeah. 
And even with the NBA, and my, I still think it was the sponsors that did that. But it's they fun. should just leave him alone. Well, They're going to keep doing that to him. Ruffles said we have nothing to do with yeah, picking Ruffles the players. Ruffles said it wasn't us. And Chris said Ruffles is lying. But I, I believe that. I know Ruffles don't have nothing to do with picking the players. No. Mm. Like, what would, what, why would, hey, Ruffles, who y'all want to play? The <laughs> That's not how that works. Yeah, but the thing is, like you just said. If it, right, right. <laughs> but the thing <laughs> is, when, when, it, when it got to them who was playing, they were like, okay, we don't want to be associated with a Chris Brown. That is very well, much they said possible. That's not true. Russell, Russell said that's not true. Russell said that never happened. Russell, okay. said, Russell said we had nothing to do with that. And, okay. and they would be able to prove that if Russell was, if Russell was the one that'd be like, we don't want to spot, give sponsorship money if it was because of that. Okay. So I, don't, I, don't, I don't. I'm, I'm with you I don't, I don't think Ruffles Okay. Went that far. I'm Hello, who's this? Hello. Hello. Hey, what's up, Clay? Talk to us. What's your thought? What's going on? Hold on. Let me take. Let's take it off. Bluetooth right quick. Hold on. Okay. Go hey, ahead. how y'all doing? Good. Good, good, good. Okay, uh, so my thoughts is uh, he was he was actually 17 at the time. So, I mean, you know, being 17, you know, everybody, everybody made mistakes. So I just feel like um, they should, I ain't saying they should overlook it, but I mean, he was, he was a minor. So let's, uh, you know that don't take away the fact that he's he's super talented, yeah. right? Yeah. And and and, to, and and we were talking about players. You know, also Carl Malone, mm. right? Carl Malone, twenty year old. He impregnated a thirteen year old girl. Uh, he he has statues. His, yeah, his but, jersey but, thing. But once again, Carl Malone played for the Utah Jazz. He was an NBA player, meaning. He's, he affects the bottom line of the NBA more than one person in a celebrity game. If you're an owner of a team and you're willing to take whatever heat comes with that, or you're the commissioner of the organization and you're, you're willing to deal with whatever heat comes with that, you'll do that over a player. You're not going to do that over somebody in a celebrity But that don't sound crazy that we're not going to let you play because it's something you did at 19, but... We gonna you know give you your flowers, have a statue of you, retire your jersey, mm -hmm. add you to the seventy fifth, uh, the seventy five uh, basketball team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but these are all different people making these decisions. You're thinking very small today. No, I'm not. I'm thinking broad. <laughs> oh like, y'all are thinking very small because y'all no. acting like it's one person making all these decisions for all of these players. Well, the NBA no, is the, one that's the Utah the Jazz has to choose to build a statue no, of Carl Malone. The yeah. Utah Jazz have to choose to retire his jersey and honor him in that way. What are we talking about? <laughs> we're talking about Chris Brown keep being dubbed and snubbed. That's what we're talking about. I would I would have to I would have to know that that is exactly the reason why he got dubbed. Mm -hmm. And I would have to I would want to know from whoever dubbed him why why, why are the reasons. Eight hundred. Mm -hmm. That's what I would want to know. I think we're just making a lot of assumptions right 585 now. Five eight five one zero five one. Let's discuss this. The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV, Jess Hilarious, Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. If you're just joining us, we're talking about Chris Brown. Uh, during Jess with the mess, he uh, reportedly that he was supposed to play in a celebrity game, but then was uninvited. Uh, he doesn't know why. I guess nobody under really no understands why. And we can only assume the reason why. And we're just asking you a question. And I just want to throw it out there once again. Yes. Chris Brown is not the only person that the NBA did that to this year. So I'm wondering once again, is this something personal to Chris Brown? Are all these are all well, these so people just slack? He can tell you about Gilly. He's talking about Gilly from Million Dollars Worth of Game. <laughs> and Gilly is somebody who I would want to see in there. I don't care. Listen, ain't none of y'all better than ball like than Gilly, celebrity wise. Uh, okay. Chris. Gilly can ball. Chris can ball. Gilly will watch Chris Brown. Oh, you stop it. Gilly will watch. So you, you, you don't be watching. I Gilly. I be watching then. Gilly. No, you don't. No, yes, you don't. I do. I Gilly. watch Gilly. Do you watch Chris? And by the way, by the way, Gilly has been the MVP of the Big Three uh, celebrity tournament two years in a row. Have you seen Chris Brown play? Have you seen Gilly? Is Why this is Gilly what this about? Gilly? You want Gilly now? Yes. This, Gilly uh, can ball. Okay, pause. Gilly can play. All right, yes, you want Gilly and he got balls. All right, good. Not at all. <laughs> Talking about, I enjoy watching Gilly play. I don't, like, no uh, disrespect I to Chris. I watch Gilly play, but Chris gets busy, too. Chris gets busy. Like, Gilly period. will watch Chris. you never even seen Chris play? Yes, I have. No, no you haven't. Have, but I've seen Gilly play a lot more. He said, no, but I haven't seen yeah, him play a lot more. Yeah, yeah. He has, he has. Gilly no. jumper is is uh, amazing. So okay, is Chris's. Well, no. Either way, he's no. not So is Callis. Callis jump is amazing, too. Callis who? Let's go to the phone lines. Hello, who's this? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> what kind of are you talking about? Tennessee. Hey, what's your name? This is Quentin from Nashville, Tennessee. Hey, Quentin, what's, what's your that? thoughts? What's going on? Man, I feel like, man, they doing Chris Brown like they do every other black 
man in the world. You can't leave this world free. They trying to keep that on him. So whenever he do get old and old and gray, they going to always bring that up like they do Michael Jackson and everybody else. That's right. I think we need to make sure that this is why. Oh my Brown God. Wasn't, I'm serious. I think we might all be jumping to some clu- some conclusions here. Well, how do you explain the, the Michael Jackson tribute that they asked him to do, and then he was like, "Nah, you can't." Well, do that it was more. fresh. That was it. I, I get that because that, that was, wasn't that fresh. That was yes, like, it was. How long nah. ago was nah, that? Like that was literally last year. No, that was it was 2020. No, last year. It was no, like 2022, 2023. Why? And I remember him doing a Michael Jackson tribute at the BET Awards. Which one y'all talking about? No, we ain't talking about BET, baby. We talking about like this was, was that one of the biggest awards. Yeah, he was supposed to perform oh, maybe two at, oh, yeah, years ago. I think 2022. Yeah, what year was that? Uh, that's a couple years ago. He was like he had hired people. He had choreography he started, he down. He started training were, and all that. Yeah, yes. started oh, that was, training. Twenty twenty two. Thank you very much. I'm a Chris Brown fan. Mm. So <laughs> yes, I know that. So and then they said no, you can't do it. It's like no, and it's the same thing that just happened at the All Star. But here's the thing. Even with that, I'm looking at it now. It says a rep for Dick Clark Productions, which produces the show. Told Puck, live shows change all the time. It's the nature of this business. Unfortunately, this element of the AMAs no. didn't come together as we couldn't align on the performance to no fault of Chris Brown. Absolutely not. That is a hunk of BS, and we know it. And also, the tribute was towards Michael Jackson. Yes, and who they were saying, they were <laughs> saying, no, we will not have somebody who represents domestic violence uh, give a tribute to a pedophile. That's alleged what I saw. Alleged pedophile. Alleged pedophile, alleged, alleged, alleged. But that's what they <laughs> said. So why do the tribute to Michael then? Oh, my God. And I'm not, by the way, I'm a person that thinks Michael is completely innocent. But yes. why, why do the tribute to Michael? Because that's what we love. What are you talk about? I'm, I'm going to say it don't make any sense. If they were going to tell Chris he can't perform in a tribute to Michael Jackson, why would they be doing the tribute to Michael? Then, but why not telling him beforehand after he right. went through training, after he going, got a Y'all choreographer? Y'all missing what I'm saying. After been practicing. Why even have... Why would you even be doing a why tribute to me? Michael why if you were me? going to stand Why on... call me and make me practice and tell me I got the job? Are, are you, and you listening to me? what I'm saying? Are you though? listening to me? Yes. Don't but, call me. Listen to what I'm saying. Right. If they were against Chris Brown, why would they be doing a tribute to Michael Jackson, who's also been accused of things? So clearly, I believe them when they say to no fault of Chris Brown, because they still did a tribute to somebody who's been accused of heinous things. So what you you wanted to see Gilly do the, the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. Michael Jackson tribute? That's uh, what it's all uh, I'm about. simply saying that I don't know if all of this is uh, if all of this should be attributed to things that people have been accused of. I don't know. Hello, who's uh-huh. this? Good morning, this is Miriam. Hey, Miriam. Good morning. Talk to us. So, and good morning to KSB, Charlamagne and the God, the beautiful Jessica Hilarious. Thank Congratulations, you. Thank baby. You. Thank you. So, listen, I am from the 7 and Chris Brown is the home fella, so I'm going to go that 100%. But aside from that, he has turned his, his back to society. He has moved on with his life. Let's forgive him. Let's give him his opportunity that he deserves. He is of the great deserves to be treated by it. Okay. okay. I couldn't understand. Nothing Her she call said. was a little choppy, but she said he has choppy. paid his debt to society and he has moved on and he has grown up and that they should leave him alone. That's right. All right, so what's the moral of the story, guys? I think we should make sure that this is even the reason why the NBA or whoever decided. <laughs> well, we got to bring Chris Brown up here. Yeah. That's Chris, the only way. Chris is always welcome come, up or, here. or do you not want him to come up here? Do you want Gilly to come up here? No, Chris, 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 Chris is definitely welcome up here. Okay, all right. But I just, I just, like I said, I just wonder if what the NBA did was personal to Chris Brown, because just like the AMAs, the AMA says it was not personal to Chris Brown. They just mm. switched up things in, in their live yeah. performance. But the, the, the problem with the, the celebrity game is Chris Brown would have been probably one of the biggest celebrities playing. Yeah. Right? yeah. Can we have say that? Can we can uh, we all agree to that? Yes, we. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't remember celebrity. who all was in it, but yeah. 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 So, I, saw, I know Michael Parsons was in it, Kai not. Yeah. Who else was in it? I don't even remember who else was in it. That's exactly. It. Just Chris Brown. But that's, that's my point. He would have been one yeah. of the biggest celebrities playing, and I'm sure it would have people would have loved to see Chris play. Gilly would have won the MVP. <laughs> uh, <okay. laughs> y'all playing with Gilly. I don't give y'all playing with Gilly. Gilly, 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 Gilly can play. Gilly, Gilly, Gilly can play like if it, this was another life. Gilly would have been in the NBA or something. Gilly, Gilly, Gilly is busy. Gilly is really, really Gilly good. must be coming over to Black Effect or something because this no, man is hyping not. him up real, real, just, real hard. I just, like, he's a person. Like, if you watch him on Instagram, no, Gilly, Gilly, Gilly he gets can busy. really ball. Yeah, Gilly and so busy. I was actually, like I said, he won the MVP of the Big Three celebrity game the last couple of years. So I'll always be thinking, damn, why Gilly's not in the NBA game? So when I mm-hmm. saw him on with Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson explaining it this week, mm-hmm. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. And nice. then, then, especially, with, you know, with the celebrity game, I see a lot of people on the celebrity games in the last 
I would say 10 years that are trash that shouldn't be there right, and right. the celebrity is not big enough to even be part of the game mm -hmm. I'm from the era where you know the celebrity game was the major celebrity yep. like your Kevin Hart used to play all the time in the celebrity oh, wow. game yeah so uh, anyway we got Just With The Mess coming up yes we do so all right, we'll be back. What that mean? You don't have nothing planned? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're going to get into Benzino, but I don't want nobody to be laughing here because when I said we're going to cover Benzino getting emotional and drink champs, everybody was laughing and that's not laugh. funny. So yeah, Benzino, we're going to get into his mental health. All right, we'll talk about it when we come back. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.